This is Twit. Big victory yesterday for AlphaGo. Mm. Three in a row against the world's best Go player, Ke Jie. This happened in China. I I was told I don't I have not been able to independently verify this that the uh, YouTube stream of the games have been blocked in China. Mm. That they don't. <laughs> the government doesn't want people to see a <laughs> machine built a Go champion beat an American best machine. In the world, that's right, an American machine. Alpha Go, and this is this is. It's retired now. It beat it beat him decisively three games in a row, and it's retiring. Uh, Just like Nico Hamilton in F one, you you win the world championship, <laughs> you step away, and you're you know what else are you gonna go do? Go out on a high note. I mm -hmm. wish a few football players would learn this. The research team, this is a press release from Google behind AlphaGo, will now throw their considerable energy into the next set of grand challenges, developing advanced general algorithms that one day. Could help scientists as they tackle our most complex problems. It sounds like it's following in Watson's footsteps. Watson was based on Deep Blue, right? The chess playing yep. robot. Yep. Such as finding new cures for diseases, dramatically reducing energy consumption, or inventing revolutionary new materials. There are some people who, within the machine learning community, I mean, some are like Ben Gertzel and they're a little aspirational, but some people really believe that Google is inches away from uh, AGI. Skynet? Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. right. No, 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 that's that's in the past. <laughs> We've already got We've this We've already net. been there. We already did that. Uh, what is AGI? Uh, artificial general intelligence. So artificial intelligence is a, a frequently misapplied term that can be broadly applied to many different topics. Uh, you get a little more specific when you talk about machine learning or you talk about algorithms. But these things, we are already living in an age that is defined by machine learning and will be continued to be defined by machine learning. But often this is what's called narrow artificial intelligence. This could be like anything from a That's game easy AI. To do. Right. It's winning a chess is do. easy. Right. But artificial well, general intelligence and what, what alpha go has done, what with go. And by the way, this go my very first, I've been playing go for 15 years. Oh, you're a it, go player. Oh yeah. I've been playing uh, go is a peaceful game. If, if you want to both, challenge your mind and kind of have a peaceful, relax, relaxing experience with someone, I, I really encourage you to play Go. If you're on iOS, there's a great app called Smart Go Kifu. I have to try this. Um, I played Go when I was a kid. I played chess much more seriously. Um, What's yeah. interesting, I remember when the chess community, when Kasparov was beaten by Deep Blue. It was a big deal. It was not only a big deal, it was kind of depressing. It was like, oh, our game is solvable. <laughs> A computer can be best a human, and the chess community's kind of come around. They now train with. But these, this is this is that. the real interesting nuance of both Go and artificial general intelligence. So, what artificial general intelligence is, are are algorithms that first they teach themselves what Go is. Oh dear! They teach themselves that, that can't possibly Go is be good. first. I have to know what a pixel is. Then I have to know what a computer is. Then I have to know that Go is a game. Go is a game humans play. Go is a game that I need to first figure out the rules. Okay, I figured out these rules. Now let me apply those things. It, do you see it's layers and layers and layers. Yeah. The artificial general intelligence, and if it can learn what Go is, it can learn what I am, and it can learn, this is called recursive artificial intelligence. Intelligence that looks at itself and its own failures and improves on that. The challenge with Go, of course, is that there are a few rules that define Go. Very few rules. It's a 19 it's by 19 grid. as simple grid. as it can be. You play black and white stones. There's only two, you one kind of piece. Right. Yeah. Go is Wei Qi. It means to surround, right? Very simple. But the nuance of Go is that, I mean, the legend is that it was developed by a Chinese emperor to teach his son how to wisely rule his kingdom when he was gone. So... Go is full of proverbs. The first proverb of Go is a one stone jump is never bad, meaning no matter what, do not overextend yourself, but do not underextend yourself. Push past your, your limitations as far as you are able, right? And so when you, you take uh, proverbs, right? There's another proverb, hane, at the end of two stones, which means if you see uh, two white stones together and you're playing black, Hane, play at the end of those two stones because it, it will increase your likelihood of victory. So these proverbs, you extrapolate those to government, to politics, to interpersonal relationships. Go is a game that is designed to teach you how to rule, how to run, and how to...
to be a better person. So in other right? words, a computer learning how to play this exactly. is significant. You're exactly right, Leo. It's, it's light years beyond learning chess. Chess is, is calculable. Right. Chess, they can you can you can teach a computer to look forty moves ahead, which right. is plenty to win any game. Go, you can't do that. Right. There are nuances to to your humanity, and there are nuances to go. So when we have artificial general intelligence, it is beyond just machine learning or natural language processing, which are narrow AI. When you get to the when when this happens, I, I start to go. I'm going to West uh, County. I'm going to be a AGI. Hippie. Yeah, yeah. This is a picture of uh, the the end of the match, a video of the end of the match. A couple of things to note. First of all, Kujia yeah, is the player on the left, is the world champion. He's got 30. They started with three hours each. He's got 32 minutes left. AlphaGo has nearly two hours left because, frankly, AlphaGo's got plenty of time. Yeah. It, it actually moved every minute just because. Which is also a didn't want to embarrass key the component human. of AGI that that it is speed as well right. as just ability. The other thing I found interesting is AlphaGo doesn't try to, humans try to win, like win decisively, like crush you. I don't know how it is in Go, but in chess, Bobby Fischer always said, I'm here to crush my opponent, physically, mentally, emotionally crush him. Hmm. And that's how he was such a good player. I don't, I'm sure Go, is, you said it's in peaceful. In Go, you're supposed to learn from your defeat. <laughs> well, you're, and if I beat you, I'm supposed to help you learn how I defeated nice. you. Well, we do do that in chess. At the end of the game, the, the, the both players will, will analyze the game, say, what if you had done this and that kind of thing. So there is that collegial feeling. But I have to say that what's interesting about AlphaGo is it does it's designed merely to win. In fact, it won the first game by the slimmest possible margin, half a point. Yeah. Because that's as good as winning by 1,000 points. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Here is so Sorry, guys, so I digressed. No, this is great. Could you look at all the food he's got on the right? The guy who's just making the moves to the computer's got nothing. He doesn't need food. He's the computer's doing all he the does. work. I wonder the processing power that's required for AGI. <laughs> I mean, this is and for AlphaGo. Like, well, I, I would must like be to know mass. how many human yeah. batteries do you need to power that? And thing? watch yeah, right. this though. Watch this because this is the end of the match. Uh, Could is making uh, his final moves, and what you really also see is a picture of of exhaustion and frankly dejection um you could you could feel the human player they're actually i think analyzing now uh yeah kind just, of points. just like oh oh you know another nuance of go is that the game isn't over until it is not like chess where there is checkmate done right right in go the game isn't over until both players concede so you you could be on the losing end. You kind of have to agree that you've lost. Yeah, it's called pass. So if I don't pass, I don't I don't right. end the game, which also means that the human player has to accept defeat internally and say, "I have won," right, or "I have lost."